Hello and welcome to another B Bits. Our first news comes from Nadia Rend, a virtual singer. Tweeting out, my journey has just begun, coming soon. Nadia Ren, virtual singer, Indonesia, coming soon. Nadia Ren is officially a VTuber created by Noble AI, marking the first VTuber in the existence created from AI art. Our next news comes from Holoab JP, Pipchen Talent, Omaru Polka. Omaru Polka tweeted out a silhouette of a new costume, which he will be revealing in 26th of October. Coming in with the biggest news of today, Bowie Calliope from Hololive's English branch, she tweeted out that her new album, Cinderella, will have a feature of the famous Japanese rapper JP The Wavy on her song called I'm Greedy, which will be releasing on 31st of October with the brand new music video. Our next news comes from Hololive Indonesia as they announced the new outfits of the first generation of the talents, giving us the silhouettes of three of the talents. Our next news comes from Annie Color, the parent company of Niji Sanji. They tweeted out saying notice of revision of secondary creation guidelines. From today, October 21st, 2022, we have revised our Annie Color secondary creation guidelines. In this revision, we have clarified the rules for producing and posting clipping videos. Following up to that, they also tweeted out, please continue to follow these guidelines and other rules and manners and enjoy secondary creation activities of our content. We appreciate your continued understanding and cooperation. So if you're a clipper who clips Niji Sanji, check out the rules linked in the description and be sure to follow them. Next news comes from Anime Festival Asia. They tweeted out their new day stage segment announcement presented by Prism Project, whose VTuber line is it anyway? Our next news coming from B Shoujo as they announce the new video. Check out the unreleased footage of Kason on Air first anniversary after party, featuring Project Melody, Natasha Nyaners, then Treya, Iron Mouse, and Silver Veil. Vale. Our next news comes from B Sin, a VTuber Twitch team, announcing their new members that being Sin of Envy, Daisy Stray, Sin of Sloth, Coco Belle, Sin of Gluttony, Ducky VT, Sin of Wrath, Gamma Inc. Sin of Lust, Sia TV. Our next news comes from MyHolo TV, a Malaysian based VTuber talent agency, who recently announced a new VTuber group called Rhydoxa. They also later announced a special announcement saying Carrot and Trade Carrot Keromi would be officially joining us and be a part of MyHolo TV's new group, Tridoxa, on 21st of October 2022, giving us a press release of her joining announcement. Our next news comes from VTube Studio, who recently announced a new DLC availing RTX graphic users to use NVIDIA broadcast to capture motion tracking for VTube Studio. This DLC being free on Steam and available for everyone to be used. Our next news is a drama between two of the indie Japanese VTubers, that being Delutaya and Mika Neko. Delutaya posted on her Pixel fanbox addressing the rumors that began spreading related to her, she stated. In the later part of September, the VTuber Mike Neko on her own stream stated a particular female independent streamer made some bad remarks, slander about Mike Neko to a gossip streamer, or something to that effect. While she did not explicitly state the name of the streamer in question, she stated it with a wording that allowed one to contextually understand she was referring to me. From this, some people got the wrong idea and perhaps Delutaya is the culprit. Delutaya then saying that she has no memory of this and was very shocked. Since then, she has been receiving DMs of slander and a lot of questions, worrying about that and wanting to solve this issue before it gets something bigger. She contacted Mike and Echo and wanted to directly talk to her and clear out all the misunderstandings. While Mike and Echo then responding to her, saying that she directly heard it from the gossip streamer himself via voice chat and has video evidence of it. She stated that she will not hand over the video to anyone and will directly give it to the court, asking Delutaya to hand this as a legal battle. She also referred how Mika Neko refused to contact with her until she gets a lawyer and blocked her on Twitter. She then says that she wants to avoid new speculations and she has no intention of mentioning this case again. Now as this is not the complete gist of it, we have to wait for further explanation regarding the issue. We seriously do not encourage any of the hate to any streamers mentioned in this video and we also do not encourage slanders and speculations and assumptions without knowing the full context. 
So if you want to discuss, the comments are free to discuss. But please do not attack any of the streamers. Well, that was it for this wee bit. And I hope you enjoyed it. So please leave a like and subscribe and also join our Discord if you want to suggest some news to us. Watch and listen to our podcast on YouTube and Spotify and also follow us on Twitter.